Hello and thank you for joining me again. My name is Philip Macko. I'm the host of the Muddy Waters podcast where we call out the scams and debunk dis disinformation. I'm having trouble getting that on. It's Friday. <clears throat> hey, I'm going to start adding this to my message. The reason why I'm doing what I'm doing. Um, look, I have three friends alone who together have lost collectively over a half million dollars to scams. Uh, a friend of a friend lost her home, her entire life savings, everything she'd worked her entire career for, gone to a romance scam. And I don't want to sit back and do nothing about it. And so I spend my days between my uh, career coaching, a little bit of consulting I do, and researching and investigating what's going on in the world, you know, where the misinformation lies how to watch out and alert yourself to scams, how to recognize they're occurring. And I want to show you why I did a video on the yes scam, which we'll talk about in just a minute. But I want to give you some context for why you should pay attention to this particular scam. So bear with me. I'm going to do a screen share. And listen, if you are tuning in by podcast audio only, I'm going to read to you the article that I'm showing on the screen. Um, says the following. Over 850,000 people hit with online shopping scam that steals credit cards, how to stay safe. And it was by an organization loosely organized, mostly with servers in the United States, which is good news in terms of fraud investigation, uh, an organization called Bogus Bazaar Network. And for three years, mostly in the U.S. and Western Europe, they've been operating scam websites. Now, you might be saying, big deal. So there's a scam website, fake website, a couple of scam fake websites. 75,000 fake online shops. 75,000. And so what would happen, and I'll <clears throat> share my screen again in just a moment. For those of you who don't see it, what these scammers would do would be to acquire expired domains from mostly reputable companies who had <clears throat> closed up their domain for whatever reason. And they would feature products, uh, mostly clothing, shoes. If you're looking at my screen, you're seeing one of their sites. Um, and they would offer them at significant discounts, 50, 60, 70% off, whatever it may be. You as a shopper, wouldn't recognize these scam sites. Uh, they operate just like legitimate sites do. You click on something you want to buy, you enter your shipping information, which is your home address, you enter your credit card number. You know, it's got, um, you know, I think it's built on WordPress, but it's got the um, shopping app to make that look legitimate as well. Um, but it's a custom shopping app, and what they're doing is capturing your home address and your credit card credit card information right and they are then selling your information on the dark web so this leads me to the other part of uh, the conversation I wanted to have with all of you it is super important now more than ever to subscribe to whatever it is, LifeLock, whatever those services out there that go out and monitor your credit report, they look for activity and they just send you email alerts. Um, they will also notify you, depending on your subscription level, if your information has been found on the dark web. So here's how that ties into the yes scam that I promised we talk about. Um, so you may get a call from a number that you don't recognize, may not yet be um, in that uh, scam, scammer, spam phone call database. So it may appear to be a legitimate number. I get three to five unsolicited calls every day at a minimum, right? Just don't answer the call. <laughs> but um, if you do and you, you hear something from the caller asking you to acknowledge with the word yes, should be a red flag to you. It'll sound something like this. Hi, I'm calling for such and such. Because remember, they have your information, so they know your name. Um, 
Just verifying, do you live at XYZ address? Yes. Hi, I'm calling for Robert. Can you hear me? Yes. Now they've got your voice recorded, yes. And all they have to do now is apply for accounts, right? Call the departments, call the credit card companies, whatever they may do, they have you recorded by voice saying yes. And now that they have it and they have your credit card information and they have your home address, there is a significantly higher risk of identity theft that can occur. So let me just recap for you. When the discount seems to be good to, too good to be true, it probably is. Um, you want to cross-reference. You want to look at, um, when you see one of these discount websites, because some do exist, right? You want to look at their social media profiles. You want to look at their customer reviews. You want to get some validation that they're actually a legitimate company before you enter your credit card, right? Um, <laughs> you want to monitor your credit, make sure that they're looking at the uh, dark web and monitoring it for the release of your information because if you don't there is a risk that scammers already have the information they need to facilitate identity theft and sometimes the only missing piece they need is your voice saying yes and once you do all hell breaks loose so i hope this video was helpful again you know I want to prevent the next person from going through that heartbreaking, terrifying experience of, you know, thinking one thing's happening and all of a sudden the world comes out from underneath you and financially you're devastated. We need to get smart because the scammers definitely are getting smart. So if you enjoyed this, if you liked this video, please click the thumbs up button. Uh, hope you'll subscribe. I hope you'll tune in, whether it be on the podcast or upcoming uh, YouTube videos. I hope you'll continue to tune in, and I hope you'll share with friends and all of us. Let's just stay diligent. Yeah? Have an excellent day.